This is James Holder for iFilm London and we're inside the head office of the Sugar Hut Essex number one night spot. Um, to my right, the man I have, Callum Best. How's it going, Callum? Very well, thank you. How are you guys doing? Uh, very well indeed. May I say thanks for taking the time to talk to us? My pleasure, mate. Um, uh, anything for Mick at uh, Sugar Hut, so I'm happy to be here. Have you been to the Sugar Hut, Sugar Hut before? I have quite a few years back, but uh, I didn't know Mick and Kirk at the time, but we've built such a fucking good relationship since there. Uh, can I swear? <laughs> we've built such a good relationship since then that uh, I saw the boys in Marbella. They invited me down, so I came here to support them and have a good night out. Fantastic. Well, my say it's absolutely great to have you here. I'm happy to be here. And that is a typical situation where my phone rings while we're filming. Busy guy. Thank God we're not live. <laughs> yeah, wait. Do you mind? I'm fucking filming you, cunt. <laughs> the Courtney accent. The Courtney accent needs a bit of work. Isn't it? You fucking in it. Anyway, so move on. Um, so yeah, what have you been up to recently? Things are good, mate. I just finished my first film. I filmed a uh, British independent film called Light the Lights. Uh, I got a fragrance out. I got a book out. I've got an underwear range. Things are good. I just ran the London Marathon for the Children's Trust charity. But at the same time, you know, I'm 30 years old. I'm single, and I like to come out and enjoy myself with good mates. That's why I'm here at Sugar Hut. Fantastic, fantastic. So obviously a lot of the TV work people know you from, being a well-known TV personality. Mm. Um, are the movies something you're looking to step into a bit more? Well, I mean, I could get into this really deep, but the thing is when I was, uh, I grew up in Los Angeles, I was in my acting classes, I was into my commercials for a long time, and I moved to London when I was about 21 years old. And, uh, you know, no structure in my life. My old man liked a bit of drink and I fell into that trap really quick. But, you know, I just hit 30 years old, things are going well. Film is the direction I want to go, but at the same time, I'm building a brand. But, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm 30 years old, I'm single, I'm a red-blooded male, and I like to go out and enjoy myself. So if I can come to Essex and join these boys at Sugar Hut, then I'm going to do it. Do you think I've dropped Sugar Hut enough times in this conversation? I think we've mentioned it almost our quota, almost yeah, not far away. Not far away. I'm tired. I could do security at the door. I don't think you'd have to audition, to be fair. I think if I could just put some pounds on, I could do security. It would be sweet. So how did the fragrance come about? It's only sparkling water. How did the fragrance come about? Was this something you was involved in the development or was it just something that was put to you? Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky enough, man. I'm blessed with this kind of name and this kind of lifestyle. And these people came to me and said, would you, would you want to start a fragrance? And uh, I thought, you know what, let's do it. I picked the smell, I picked the bottle, put it out there and people liked it. But uh, it's just part of me building a brand for myself. At the end of the day, mate, you know, I get a lot of grief saying, like, why are you using your old man's name? And the reality is it's my name and best is my name. And if I want to go out and do things under the best name, I'm going to do it. And uh Fragrance is just one of the things. Now I've started this uh, new underwear range. I've got these really cool girls' panties. Well, that's not the nicest way to put it. I've got this really cool girls' underwear, undergarments. Sounds a little bit bad. It doesn't adjust. I'm, I'm not that bad. But uh, it's got best on the bum and big old English like my tattoo. And uh, it's just me, you know, just trying to build a brand and, and pay my rent. You know what I mean? A lot of people think my life is fairy tales and butterflies because I'm George's son. But it's not the case. You know what I mean? i got to craft hard for what I do. But at the end of the day... I gotta, I'm got. i very blessed in the fact that I can uh, have all these doors open and come here and get interviewed, and uh, it's all good. Callum, your, your dad was one of the probably the greatest players to walk the planet. Maradona famously said to him he was one of the great players that ever played. Mm. What what was it like to be to be brought up in that kind of environment? Shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, it was all good. It was all good. I mean, my old man did his thing. I could never live up to that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do mine. For a long time, I struggled with it because it's hard to fill those boots. But finally, I'm comfortable in my own skin. And, you know, I am a best and I'm proud of it. I'm trying to keep the legacy alive, mate. So simple as that, you know? I wish I had those skills, but if I tried to be a footballer, I'd be shut the fuck down so hard that I ain't even trying to do it. Well, Callum, may I say thank you very much for taking the time. I know you're a really right, busy guy. No, no, not at all. What happens there, but what can you do? I'm here. I, 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 f I film London. I film. Lo I'm on this. I film London. Listen, thank you for your time. I hope you like me talking absolute shit in the nightclub of Sugar Hut. I'm here with Mickey. Wish I wish Kirk was here, but he's not. And uh, thank you for listening, Callum Best here at Sugar Hut in Brentwood, and you're watching I film London. Have a good one. I'm in Essex, girl.